One day Sir Handel was snorting about in the yard. He was banging the coaches around, fetching them for the other engines. It's not fair, he spluttered. The other engines get her a nice long run with these coaches, being at the front with the coaches behind, showing a great layer of dignity. Well, I'm only shunting the coaches. How indignant, I say! How indignant, I say! Do glare that, Sir Handel. That's too light. Yours would never suit his grace, he said. It wouldn't land you in dignity. It would only land you in trouble. How can it? said Sir Handel. Have you ever heard of the story of Lord Harry? said Duke. Well, of course I have, said Sir Handel. Scalery tells us engines the story any time I'm giving perfect reasoning for something. Well, maybe there's a reason for that. Duke snapped. But I don't think you've heard of this one before. The Coldyfell Railway. It's a beautiful place. The fresh air blows in your face. The view is some truly exceptional to see. The engines always make sure to put their passengers first, to make sure they have the best experience possible. But Lord Harry still had a lot to learn. He was rude, and always in too much of a hurry. Always desperate to get the journey done as fast as possible. Caring too much for himself not the safety of the passengers. One day he arrived late at the summit. He grumbled to Catherine. It isn't fair, he grumbled. I never get to lead the train. Always facing behind. And never getting to lead the train. Look at the main line, I say. Those main line engines get to lead their trains. It's indignant, I tell you. Catherine. Had enough of Lord Harry complaining. However, it was the only the beginning of it. Every morning, Lord Harry would say the same thing when he left and arrived at the station. I should be leading the train, not pulling it up. It's undignified. Everyone was getting sick of Lord Harry's complaining. Lord Harry was getting sick of what he thought was no one listening to his deputations. He didn't realise the reason why the engines didn't lead their trains on the Coldy Fell Railway was because of the dangers it could have. So Lord Harry decided to take action himself. The next day, Lord Harry was ready to leave with his first train at 10 o'clock. The passengers were waiting for him. They were impatient and they wanted to leave as fast as possible. Lord Harry's chance had come. He found a nearby turntable and turned around. He coupled up facing forwards too soon for the guard to realise and started off. Come back! Come back! shouted the guard, but Lord Harry wasn't listening. I've done it! I've done it! he cried. Lord Harry continued to puff down a line. The driver and fireman kept shouting, Back, boy! Back! It's not safe! It's not safe! But Lord Harry wasn't listening. All he was focused on was a pride of leading the train. And then, he approached a narrow and high mountain. Lord Harry was heading for trouble. Help! I'm going to fall! Back, boy! Back! shouted his driver. Lord Harry's wheel desperately tried to grip the rails. His driver had an idea. He told the passengers to go to the nearest signal box and asked the signalman to phone for help. And soon, they got it. With a great heave, Lord Harry was pulled back onto the rails. After that, Lord Harry didn't sing anymore. Nor boast. Nor complain. Just 
stayed silent the whole journey home. When Lord Harry returned home, the manager was waiting for him. I'm very disappointed in you, Lord Harry. You put your crew and passengers in danger. I hope you think about your actions while you stay out of service for the week. If this happens again, we'll take away your nameplates. I know we'll stay in the shed even longer if you haven't come out by then. Of course, we know what happened next after that. But thankfully, Lord Harry would eventually learn his lesson. After that, Sir Hanel didn't complain anymore. Just stayed silent for the rest of the evening.